Will Oprah Winfrey run for president? That's where, that's where we begin today. As the media collectively loses its mind at the prospect of an aha presidency. For those of you not in the know, that was her phrase, the aha moment. Um, we're wondering. It's still early days with just about 1,029 days to go until the next election. So, yeah, but who's counting? Um, <laughs> but this is America, so it's never too early to speculate, especially when it comes to presidential politics. A person in the know has told NBC's Kate Snow that Oprah has no intention of running for president, which is ambiguous. No intention of running for president now. But Oprah's longtime partner, Stedman Graham, told the LA, told the LA Times it is up to the people, adding she would absolutely do it. Hmm. Mm. Ms. Stedman would know. <laughs> now, this all began Sunday night at the Golden Globes with a seemingly meaningless joke. And Oprah, while I have you, in 2011, I told some jokes about our current president at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, jokes about how he was unqualified to be president, and some have said that night convinced him to run. So if that's true, I just want to say, Oprah, you will never be president! <laughs> Joking aside, Oprah for president sure has people talking. Her electrifying speech sure at Sunday's Golden Globes man. brought down the house. I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And the cheers have not stopped since. A barrage of well wishes from politicos to celebrities, from Esquire to Ava. Even Oprah's best friend, Gail King, and her longtime partner, Stedman Graham, have weighed in, leaving the door open for a national campaign. Although last night, a source in the know said Oprah has no plans to run in 2020. In some ways, the possible run is not a surprise. Oprah has been slowly wading into political waters for years, endorsing then-Senator Obama in 2007, helping him clinch the nomination. You can feel the spirit and the energy and intelligence he has already brought to this election. Backing Hillary Clinton in 2016. You don't have to like her. Do you like this country? Peter and Slim conducting the last the interview with Michelle that. Obama as what First Lady. Happens. What allowed you to stand in your own truth and find your way? Being a grown-up. Mm -hmm. you know. Not long ago, Oprah admitted she'd never really considered running for president until political neophyte Donald Trump got elected. I thought, oh, gee, I don't have the experience. I don't know enough. I don't know. And now I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> Oprah and Mr. Trump do have some things in common, like immense fame, and wealth, right and Political confidence. You've said, though, that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in to lose. I've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life. Mr. Trump says he's a fan of the TV superstar, saying this nearly two decades before he ever ran for president. Would you consider a woman for your running mate? And if so, who? Well, I would consider, and as Chris can tell you, I threw out the name of a friend of mine who I think the world of, she's great, Oprah. I said Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, who is really great. And I think would, we would be a very formidable team. Running together does not seem likely, but running against one another? The White House says it welcomes the challenge. My head is going to explode. <laughs> it's going to explode right here. <laughs> so will Oprah Winfrey actually run for president, and how's that likely to go? Joining me now, NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki and Rasmussen Reports broadcast political analyst Amy Holmes. Welcome to you both. Good Thanks. morning. All right. So I have to tell you, th this is not being fully shot down by Team Oprah. You know, she has no intention of doing it, hasn't made a decision. Stedman, like, she'd do it if the people want it. <laughs> so, A, what is the likelihood? Steve, I'll, I'll start with you. And B... How's that likely to go? <laughs> yeah. Look, in the world where Donald Trump is president of the United States, you can't look at any potential candidate, any name that's mentioned, and say it's not going to happen, it can't happen. So it's plausible, certainly. Donald Trump is president. The, the bar now is set in a place it hasn't been before. If she runs, though, we're looking at, look, obviously the most sort of celebrity-driven campaign we've ever had, but I think it could be a potential turning point for this country if she runs, because we will have then had one celebrity president then whoever wins Trump versus Oprah would be another celebrity. Would that be institutionalized? Would the celebrity presidency, as opposed to the, the member of Congress, the governor, the thing we're used to, mm -hmm. the politician, is the presidency then defined going forward 
as a celebrity institution. I think that's one of the things to think about when we talk about a potential. And what does that mean campaign. for America? Of course, we had Ronald Reagan, who was a movie star. Right. Um, Oprah's best friend, Gail. Y'all know Gail. She weighed in on CBS this morning. Here's what she said today. Watch. No, I absolutely don't think that her position has changed. I don't. You know, I was up talking to her very late last night. I do think this, though, guys. I do think she's intrigued by the idea. I do think that. I also know that after years of watching the Oprah show, you always have the right to change your mind. I don't think at this point she is actually considering it. But listen, there are people who, are, who have said they want to be her campaign manager, who want to uh, quit their jobs and campaign for her. She loves this country and would like to be of service in some way. But I don't think that she is actively considering it. For the record, that is a I don't that's think a she's actively change. considering it this time. Mm-hmm. Amy? <laughs> to me, the news was, Gail gets to talk to Oprah before she goes to bed. You and me, that. Amy, that's we knew that. We like sisters. That's amazing. As I was getting ready for the show this morning in the shower, shaving my armpits, I was thinking... <laughs> Walk us through that. Yeah, yeah. What Tell's does more. Oprah think about in the shower? Um, should I start My a money. new empire? I have a lot of money. Or <laughs> it's great to be a billionaire and have a ranch called the Promised Land in Montecito. <laughs> right. Why would exactly. I want to trade that in for 1600 Pennsylvania? Exactly. Avenue? I was like, I was thinking, does she think about starting a new empire or world domination? I don't know. It's Tuesday. Uh, look, if Oprah Winfrey wants to run for president, there are a lot of Americans, obviously, who would really welcome that, including me. And part of the reason for that is. As a conservative, I actually believe in people coming from the private sector, from private life, applying their hard-earned, well-earned wisdom, experience, and in Oprah's case, uh, genius. Because she's to not just a TV star; life. she's a t she's a mogul. She's, exactly. a, she's a business mogul. You in don't fact, become a billionaire see, by not right, exactly. having business see, sense. That's where I, I might disagree with you a bit. It's not necessarily just about celebrity. Oprah Winfrey has, has proven herself to be an extraordinarily accomplished woman. She's an entrepreneur. She has built a billion-dollar empire. Mm -hmm. Believe me, if I had her smarts, you know, I, mm -hmm. I would be on that ranch in But Montecito. here's the question. Here's the, so, by the way, th this is already out there. This is already <laughs> out there. Op it says Oprah 2020. This right. is already because of her Golden Globe speech. One speech, which her, they're saying that she didn't really intend that speech to do what it's done. Um, but you walk us through the numbers. Trump won the last election by 77,000 votes, yeah, right? 77,000 votes, The black states. vote did yep. not turn out for Hillary the way it turned out for Obama. Yep. Or white women. But, right, or white women. So how does Oprah Winfrey change the, the calculation? I, 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 watch that speech. And I think everybody here saw that the other night. And think back to the 2016 campaign. And think about Hillary Clinton's struggles as a candidate. One thing Hillary Clinton never successfully did in 25 years on the public stage, I think, is tell a story. It was inspire anybody. Oprah Winfrey, she told American a people. story <laughs> about America, about mm -hmm. herself, about big themes. You could see the audience was hanging on her every word. And you think back, you know, Hillary Clinton, they tried so many times. They, the term they always use when you talk to them was humanize. They tried to humanize her during the campaign. <laughs> right. It never worked. And right. in one speech, she connected in a way Hillary Clinton did in her entire political career. And that's right. something Trump is very good at doing. Very Absolutely. good at sort of cut, separating the wheat from the chaff and going right to his direct message. Whether you like the message or not, he knows how to, he knows how to message to people and be heard in a way that was very effective right. for him. But here is something that I would warn Miss Winfrey, that if you run for politics, hard decisions have to be made. And those hard decisions create enemies. It yeah. creates conflict. It creates, you know, uh, opposition. So her... Because it's not true. Can right. I ask you, if, people who love Oprah think yeah. everybody loves Oprah. But it's not true. Because Republicans were alienated by her support for Barack Obama. They didn't like the fact that she got political. And so it's not... It's The whole country doesn't love Oprah. But here's the thing. When you toss your tiara in the ring, it'll get tarnished. Because politics is as Hillary Clinton once said, about hard choices. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, this perennial wish for Oprah to run for office is a part of Americans wanting someone who deliver us, delivers us from politics. Mm -hmm. But politics ain't beanbag. It, it is down in the mud, and it is about difficult decisions. And so, you know, you know, best things and be your best self, you'd have to put real policy bones, policy meat on those bones, and then that's where you'd, uh, you know, get into those The thing those about Oprah, she, she is living her best life, as she encouraged all of us <laughs> to do. Clearly, she is. <laughs> right. But I want her life. But she also is very cognizant of her role in history and of the history of African Americans in this country. And it, mm -hmm. to me, it seems like it would be very hard for her if she really thought she had a shot at becoming the first African-American female president, a real shot not to do it. That's my two cents. But before we go, I'll give you the final word. Is she, is she going to run? I, look, I think she's going to think about this. And I think if she starts, <laughs> getting, the, I think yeah. if she starts getting the indications <laughs> you're talking about that yeah. it's actually plausible, 
Who says she wouldn't do it? I could see her doing it. What do you see, Amy? Listen, every politician says, I will serve if asked. That's and right. if there is a big upswell for Oprah Winfrey, you know, expect her in 2020. Do you guys want her to run? Yes. <laughs> half and half. Half and half. Now I know who the Republicans are. Now I know who the Republicans <laughs> are in my audience. <laughs> Thank you both so much. Thank Thanks. you, Megan. Fascinating. We'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.